I'm trying to mount some posts in a giant slab of granite and I want to show you guys how to do it. Granite. Large rock. So here's this granite path. My yard of my house. There's this granite rock path that's going down a fairly steep hill here down to our garden. And we're always trying to carry wheelbarrows and rocks and stuff down here. And that's kind of treacherous coming down, especially when it's wet. So I'd like to put a railing in here to make that, uh, so you have a handhold to use while you're coming up this path. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll need an SDS, uh, I don't remember what that stands for, but an SDS hammer drill, not a normal drill, and a rock or masonry bit, kind of like that on the end. It works really well for drilling into rock and cement, and I'll show you. Got some concrete adhesive anchor in a tube. Use one of these little caulking guns in it. We're gonna fill each one of these holes two thirds the way up and then stick this piece of all thread in there. It's a one foot long piece of all thread. And that'll stick up about six inches high. Tough to squeeze out, but it comes. I've got my four posts mounted here in the rock. One, two, three, and four. So we'll attach posts to that. Uh, this stuff hardens way faster than I thought it did. Down here at the bottom, I got kind of a glob. I thought I'd have time to come back and wipe that up. Nope. After less than three minutes, it's rock hard already. But the bottle says 45 minutes till it's actually full strength. I've got my four by four treated post cut to 44 inch length which is the height that I want and then drilled a hole about 8 inches deep down the end of it here and now I'm going to use a Forstner bit to drill a hole in from the side the all thread will stick into this hole and then from the hole in the side I'll be able to get a nut and a washer on it and tighten that down once I have the hole up here more to come Okay, this is a Forstner bit. Should make a rather large hole. So I'm gonna try and set this up so you guys can see here. Difficult to get started, needed two hands, but using the Forstner bit, made myself a nice hole so that there's a connection between the hole in the bottom and the hole coming in the side. Kind of hard to see it right here, but it's right there. Now using a chisel, I sort of flattened out the bottom there so we can get our washer on a flat surface to tighten it down. Look at this, making progress. A post standing up on the rock. <clears throat> you can see our all thread sticking up in there. We can get a nut and a washer on that. But first, I want to address this gap down here. I'm going to scribe around the bottom of that and cut it so that it fits more flush to the rock. 
So this is just a compass I've had since elementary school and it's not exactly a scribe but it does pretty much the same thing and we're gonna make it work. So setting it up at the lowest point, the biggest gap, get it just so that it matches up to the bottom tip there and then run it along the rock keeping that gap the same and it gives us a line that we can cut around, do all four sides. Having made my rough cuts, it sits much flatter now, but it's still not perfect. So I'm going to pound on the top of it to leave some indents on the bottom and that'll tell me where I need to take more off. After I cut some off, it's awfully close to the top, so on the next one, I should uh, drill my large hole here a little bit higher up. Thankfully, I think I can still make it work. So I'm putting on washer. Back in a moment. I ended up having to lift the post up a little bit to fit it on the top, but now that I've got it started, I can use a socket wrench and or a open end wrench to tighten that down. Okay, I've tightened the bolt down. Let's see how it goes. Pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough to hang a chain from. There you go. How to attach a post into granite. Now I just have to do three more. Ta da! Posts going down my path with a chain to hold on to when it's slippery. Lovely.